This is Sam Whitworth, the voice of Darth Maul, and you're watching Crimson Darth Maul. Hey guys, what's up? It's Crimson Darth Maul, and recently I've had some videos stolen, so unfortunately I'm going to have to start watermarking, so you can tell that by the bottom left corner. What's up guys, it's Crimson Darth Maul, back with another review. Today I'm looking at the Saga Legends Jedi Temple Guard, and uh, just want to start out by saying I love this figure already, but it does have a few setbacks, and let's get into that. One of the things, first off the bat, that I notice with my figure is his arm, or his hand is closed off a little bit, so I'm going to have to go in there with a knife or something and just kind of dig that out. So that kind of bothers me. Um, the sculpt of this figure is really good with all the keys and the layers of his tunic. Let's look at the back of the figure, so very good sculpting, but uh, with that hand, with mine, the quality control, I'd say I will not give it a, a perfect 2 out of 2 for sculpt. I'll probably give it a 1 out of 2 just because that hand is bothering me. <laughs> now the paint apps on this figure are actually really good. I know I had some problems with my Sabine figure, but the paint apps I'll probably give it a 2 out of 2. It comes with this really awesome lightsaber pike. The, the details are very cool on it. I would give this thing a 2 out of 2. I just wish the, uh, the pike blades were a little bit longer because they're kind of short. But not much to complain about here. Um, I feel like the resemblance to the uh, the Jedi Temple Guards in the Clone Wars is awesome. I'm so glad we're still getting... This might be like the, one of the last Clone Wars figures we're getting, but... I'm glad we're still getting a few trickling in. And yeah. So not too much to complain about. Articulation's not great. I wish he was released in the Black Series, but... What are you going to do about it? I'll give it a 1 out of 2. So for sculpt, I'll give it a 1 out of 2. For paint apps, I'll give it a 2 out of 2. That's 3 right there. For articulation, I'll give it a 1. So that's 4. For resemblance to character, I'll give it a 2. So that's 6. And uh, for lightsaber and accessories, I'll give it a 1. So that's 7. So this guy scores a 7 out of 10. So uh, thank you guys for watching. It's Crimson Dove Mall. Signing out. I highly recommend this figure if you're a Clone Wars fan. And thank you so much.